What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Diesel Brothers truck building simulator video. Ooh, that is a lot to say. All right. Uh, in the last video we got started, I learned quite a few things. Uh, now we're going to be hopping into some more things. Uh, I think that right now we're just doing tutorial trucks. So once we finish all these, then we can finally hop into customizing and really getting going. Uh, let me see here. Making sure I got everything good to go. Okay. We are doing our first one order or we're doing our third third one uh it's called highway to diesel the body of the truck is no secrets for you so it's time to go deep into the chassis uh this time you will buy the lift and replace some parts from underneath of your car uh when it, it'll be done you'll add some crazy hot rod decals from the shop and add a finishing touch all right so fifty thousand dollars that is a lot of money we're gonna get buy a lift from the pc management upgrades okay upgrades upgrades PC management upgrades lift costs 40k that is a lot slot B okay that's the other bay um, yes alrighty we got one now we gotta lift the car and I've watched this so I know how to lift this you go up I oh, gotta hold it I like the realism on that you lift it all the way up There we go, I can fit under here. Okay, open map, go to scrapyard. Map. Scrapyard, check. Okay, so yeah, I am uh, sl I'm really slowly figuring out a lot of this. I haven't, I'm not really able to like, just go and play it on my own, because I want to like record this, because it is a, uh, like a story mode thing at the current moment in time. That sun is bright. Uh, at front and right, rotor. Rotor splash guard, okay, and left exhaust catalyst. Okay, I've seen the catalyst around here. Rear diesel vehicles, rotor disc. We need the splash guard for the rotor. Shields. Any vehicle, okay, add to that. Do we need a catalytic converter is what it said? Uh, left, yeah, left catalyst. Catalytic converter, no. No, that is not it. Wow, this is going to kind of be a pain to look through here now that I realize it. Headlight. They're really dark in here, too, so I can't really see much. Oh, is this it? Manifold. Nope. It's from bumper. Big old brake kit. Where is she at? Drives, hood, suspension. Oh no. What is this? Four by four, four inch front. Okay, nope, nope. So I'm over. That's a resonator. Not quite the same. Close though. A lot closer than anything we've seen so far. What we got over here. Dang it. Come on. It's got to be around here. It's drive shaft. Spring. Hey, this looks like it. Yes, that was it. All right, sweet. There we go. Um, That's a lot of money for a catalyst. They're 100% quality, though, which is weird. There we go. And then they'll be dropped. Yep, right here. And boop. these are a lot easier to move around and work than the other parts we were using earlier. Okay, put them in open map, go to garage. Uh, earlier when we were running around with all the body pieces, we had uh, two doors, two hoods, all in that little uh, transport. And it was kind of awful to move these. Okay. There we go. We can actually kind of throw these. You can move it and then you throw it. Oh, hey, she rolls. Stop rolling. Okay, so unscrew and unmount front, front, front right wheel. Where she at? There we go. And it's it's kind of nice with these ones. Uh, unlike car mechanics, you have to click and hold. Uh, this one, you just click once, and it all comes out. Which is super easy. All right, drop that. Grab this. Just set that guy right here. Here, we'll... How do I... Oh, it's this way. Okay, there we go. And we will 
Oh, it doesn't. I was gonna. Usually, whenever I use like lifts and stuff like this, I always just set it against that. But now we're good. Oh wow, that took off. We took the tire off. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but you know it's all right. Uh, front right wheel support. There it is. Wheel support right here. I feel like we didn't want to jack this truck up this high for us to be working on this. Especially since I think I have the shortest guy right now. I'm gonna drop that. Give me that bad boy. And now we unscrew the front and right brake. Oh my gosh. This is quite a bit to do. I wish we could just put the uh, screwdriver on our tool belt or something like that. And yeah, I wish we could just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to drop it. All right, give us the brake. Give us the disc. And then we gotta unscrew this guy. It looks like there's four on the back for this one, and then we're done. Alrighty. And then this is our bad one, and then we will mount. Okay, then we'll do our new one. I think this pretty much looks the same, yeah. And then we just gotta do all this in reverse. It's honestly. Uh, maybe a little bit easier than car mechanic simulator less user friendly i'd say right now uh, i'm sure with updates like that it'll get better because this is in beta phase right now so keep that in mind when you guys see this uh this one oh is these oh those are extensions that's why i was like what the heck it's like this is some weird stuff all right let's screw all this stuff on first Yeah, these are uh, wheel spacers. That's what they are. I was like, why am I putting another hub back on here? I was like, ah, they're spacers. That's why. Because I forget a lot of these lifted trucks do use spacers quite a bit. Spacers are just getting massive, massive wheels and tires. Okay, you. And then <laughs> you just mount that right on there. All right. Good, good to me. I don't really care. Should probably do a star pattern here. Then we go down to the left, up to the right. All right, and then the other thing we grabbed was the resonator. All right, and then we got to do unscrew and unmount the left exhaust catalyst. Is there an underbody? Okay. Looks like this bad boy here. Okay, we gotta take these ones out. I think this will be take out. Is there any up here connecting them? All right, doesn't look like it. What is the? Is that one damaged that badly? All right, where, where do where do we throw the screwdriver at? Oh, what the heck? How did we land all the way over there? Okay. Uh, then these ones, gotta scroll these back in reverse. And then get our clamps up in there. Last thing you want is your exhaust just banging around everywhere. Oh, that one's already screwed in. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Any more? Buy four big tires. Okay. Part shot, buy. Oh, no off-road tires okay so then it like labels these so i guess any of these will work any of these bigs uh we'll do the cheapest four honestly because wait how many can we purchase multiple at a time there we go and then unmount four small tires okay now at least this is easy this doesn't actually have anything to unmount these with you just you just pop these off. I guess I see now why this could be very useful. 
And where are they at? That was the last one. And we'll just drop them right here. I guess I should probably have turned it and just plopped it down. Now they won't roll away. Uh, for these ones, we'll just go boop. Come on. Oh, I thought we'd be able to roll them away. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Wow, those are pretty big ones. Just got to run all of them over now and just slap them on. At least you don't have to use a tire machine. It's a lot easier. But I guess it is a little bit less realistic. I'm sure they'll eventually add a tire machine. Because that's a huge, huge part about this. All right, lower the car. And then we can go over to our uh, our computer in a minute and we can sell everything. Uh, sell all the tires and everything we don't need. There we go. Was that really, is it that easy? Okay. Oh, transfer car to the de decal shop. Okay. I think we go over here and you go to management, transfer. We're going to transfer this one to the decals. Slot A. There we go. Uh, and then while we're here, we'll go to parts and we'll sell. We'll sell everything in here. All right. Sweet. Sold everything. Okay. Now let's go over to our decal area. It's nice that like everything that we own is or everything that we need is kind of just within like a blocks radius. So we never really have to go far for anything. All right, I mean, I, what I really want to do is get my own truck. Okay, now what do they, oh, no, did I mess that up? Resume. Oh no, I can't. I guess I can't check. All right, so we're gonna add some decals. They wanted to add us to add some hot rod, some hot rod stuff to this one. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. we'll do this. And we'll do it white for now. Okay. Rotation. We need to scale this. So. There we go. And then if we scale this way, we can flip her. Yes. I've done a few decal stuff in my past. Uh, right now, I'm just slapping these on. I'm not trying to make these look good. Um. I'm just putting them on. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, there might be a chainsaw outside if you guys can hear that. Uh, somebody's cutting down some trees. And then we will go another one on the other side because you know, why not? Uh, we'll do this color. Make the scale large. No, wrong way. There we go, rotate it a wee bit. All right, there we go. All right, M, exit to map. Go back to the garage. We'll see if that worked. I'm not sure. I just said put hot rod. I'll oh, place five. Okay. So place uh, three more, I guess. Uh, all right, Hood's going to get one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, so it'll say out of five. I see now. I guess this one will be pretty easy, honestly. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, there we go. All right, and then we'll rotate it. We're just going to have this thing take up the entire front end. Wait, oh, whoa. Oh, okay, it can only go one way. Ah, uh, I see. Rotate it a wee bit. There we go. I guess that looks okay oh you can switch the scale lock there we go that's what we did earlier and then we'll throw it wide all right we'll apply that one. Oh, no we need to change the side go on the top you know why not let's go on the top we just gotta get something up here uh we'll throw just just the word hot rod up here so nobody can see it <laughs> Do another one. Uh, just, just a little one of these guys. I'm gonna throw it up in blue and we'll just leave it there. There you go. Now you can't see it, which is fine. I just want to get this guy done here. And they don't really care how the decals look. It's just it's just for them. 
Uh, transfer card back to garage. All right, good. Uh, management transfer. Go to decals. Click on this guy. Click on slot A. There we go. Finish order. There we go. We just got an achievement. Earn a hundred thousand dollars. We just got sixty-two thousand dollars from that one. I guess we get paid for the parts we put into this too. So we don't really lose money on any of these. Uh, now you can play the game freely. New orders are spawning regularly. So check your laptop to get the hottest one. All right. So finally, now we can actually like play it. Those are the, all the tutorial trucks are gone now. So now it's purely up to us. I think, let me see if we can upgrade or change the look of our garage. Yes. Now we can buy what we want. Uh, another thing guys, if you guys can notice, these are not brand names. Keep that in mind. Uh, so eventually we'll figure out like one of these is like, this looks like a, uh, Toyota Tundra and this looks like something else. This looks like a Chevy. This looks like a Ford. Yeah. We'll, we'll, end, we'll end up figuring out which ones look, uh, the most like other trucks, but honestly, they're all going to be kind of the same for now. $90,000. Oh, geez. Okay. I don't know if there's uh welding in this game either or anything like that yet. Oh, orders. Okay. So, so like this one, they'll pay us nine grand to paint all these parts, mount new tires, new exhaust, new lower arm and a roof rack. Okay. So stuff like that. 5,000, 8,000, 5,000, 8,000. Okay. Not bad. Uh, what about manager? What can we do up here? What can we upgrade? If you'd like to replace the engine, you don't know how to get it with our brand new engine hoist. Okay, so you can't get these yet, which is okay with me. Ooh, decorations though. Yes, we can make this place actually look way nicer. Uh, liquids and sprays. What the heck? Pallets, miscellaneous. What do we got in here? Okay, guys, so I was thinking, I don't know if I want to buy my own truck yet. Let me see here. Actually... So I'm going to let eight inches lift. I'd say overall condition is bad. It has a short cab, regular bed mounted on it. Uh, this is a used on the eight inch lift. I'd say overall condition is bad. Oh, okay. There's no missing or not working parts here. Uh, just get inside and drive. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's buy our first truck. Here, let's see if we can do anything to it. Wait, where was it at? Oh, we gotta move it. Okay. I was like, I bought it and I turned around. I was like, where's it at? Um hmm. Let's see. Backyard, slot A. Alright, see what I got ourselves into here. Oh, this looks like a ram. Oh yeah, this straight up looks like a ram. Um hmm. Well, to say the least, it is in pretty awful condition here. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go management transfer. Um, let's see if we can even do this. Oh, you can only transfer parts at a time. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how we can repair the entire condition of this. All right. We're going to start removing some body panels. Uh, let me see. We'll throw that in. Can I move this over or does this have to stay? Oh, okay. It looks like that has to, yeah, it looks like that has to stay in its current spot. Outside of these little, uh, toolboxes here, I can take them and remove them whatever I want. I just got them for this pretty much. Oh, come on. Can I? There we go. Yeah, we can throw that up there, which will be nice. Okay. Uh, let's start taking some of these body panels off. We're going to take these, sandblast them, and see if we can make them look a little bit better. We're also going to paint the uh, paint the entire body a new, a new color. Probably something, something a lot better. Maybe an orange. I think I'm liking, I'm liking the orange, but I don't know how well it's going to come out. Um, screw it on our bolt achievement. And when I say come out, I mean, like, I don't know if the body itself will still, like, show through and be all rusty. Because I think it does. I think it will. But we can't take this back and 
do anything with it, I think. I don't think we can sandblast the entire body. Um, give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Uh, what else are we missing here that we can rip out of here? We can probably take the entire bed with us, too. Wait, I don't think we can... Mm, we might be able to take the entire bed. Is that the only one? We only got two bolts holding this bad boy in. Yep. All right, we'll throw this over here. There we go. And then this one. These are some small little tail lights. All right, and I think that's it. We'll see if we can pull the cab off there, or the uh, the the bed, not the cab. Uh, management transfer. No. Oh, we gotta unbolt it. Duh. Duh. Oh, hey, I forgot that we can remove the entire. Maybe we can remove the entire cab out of here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, you gotta move these ones from the side. And then. Oh, there it was. Why is it not popping up for me right now? Do I gotta jump up here to get it? No. That's weird. It won't let me get to that one from the other side. Here, we'll try going. Oh, if you crouch down, you can get it. Okay. All right. So there's that. We'll see if you can pop the bed off now. Uh, management transfer. The bed. You need to uninstall rear bumper. Okay. Dang it. I wish I could have a laptop. Put the laptop on my little car there. Uh, where's the bumper at? All right, bumper, you're gone. You're out of here. So I think we're going to sandblast and paint literally the entire thing. Uh, the entire body, honestly. Oh, there we go. It's just a little thing. Just a little guy. All right. So management transfer. Let me transfer this bed. Yes, sandblasting. All right, there we go. We transferred that to sandblasting. I guess we can also transfer the cab out of here. Let me check. Will it really let us transfer the cab? Can you really just rip the entire thing off its fr uh, like the frame rails? Um, transfer. Yeah, you can. Wow, that's kind of cool. That'll make this a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's start moving over all the parts that we're going to have to sandblast and fix. We'll get new taillights. We'll see if we can do anything with this bumper. Actually, you know what? Mm, nah. No point. It's not going to match the same color anyways, so we'll just get rid of it and buy another one. So this we bought for 40, 40, not 40, uh, $1,400. Fourteen fifty, I think is what it is. So we'll see if we can actually make some money off of this thing. So, yeah, these are literally just these are straight up ram headlights right now. Um, oh, we need to pull those fenders off. We'll take those with us. I think we can pull these out. Yep. There we go. And then, guys, this game is in beta, like I said before. Um, so it's really, really new. So I'm sure eventually it'll be, it'll just be absolutely insane with the amount of customization. But right now, uh, with it being really new, I don't know how much they're really going to have. It's not bad right now. Let me just say that it's definitely, it's definitely not bad. Okay. So there we go. Whoa there, Nelly. All right. We got five, six parts, five parts in there. Um, what is this? All right, we'll take this one with us. We're just taking every part with us. Every part other than the cab that we can get out of there and paint and sandblast. All right, any other parts that are detachable? Doesn't look like it. All right, probably missed something. You guys know, you, yeah. I mean, I guess you guys probably wouldn't know, actually, because nobody has this game except for, uh, except for YouTubers right now. Uh, all right. Anyways, we'll go to Sandblasting Arena. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so it does just take the entire thing and sets it on some rails. Um, give me some sand. Oh, there we go. Okay, so sandblasting does remove all of the rust. So we will have to take the cab off of the body, or off the rails, and then we'll bring it here, and we'll sandblast that bad boy. We should be good. Do we have to sandblast all the edges? Alright, doesn't look like we have to do these edges. Underside good. Alright, we don't do the underside. So it's look like looks like bleh, bleh. I gotta stop stop messing up. Looks like all we really have to do is just hit the spots with paint. And that'll increase I think that'll increase the body. I need to check and see what the uh, percentage is once we get it fully done here. Alright, let's not miss any spots here. And we're also always getting new orders added. So that's also happening right now while we do this. Okay. Then do we... Oh, sweet, look at that. We can just come over here and just start sandblasting and everything just chilling. Which is probably a lot easier than actually having to move everything to their required spots. Okay. I should probably move these around just a little bit so you'll set that one down we'll set this one down uh, this one can go here I'm just gonna set these all around the shop or all around the sandblasting area and then we'll just slowly work on all of them then hood check all right rear trunk there we go and we got these little itty bitty parts which will just sandblast as they sit. There we go. All right, so there's those. Then we'll do our fenders again, or do this fender at least. This is actually really, really neat. This is a part that Car Mechanic Simulator is missing that I really like. Uh, Car Mechanic Simulator really has down the mechanic aspect. Taking things apart, putting them back together, doing the engine completely in and out. Whoa. Uh, it's got that completely completely done. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's just a little bit more of the customization and like this stuff like this that you could add in that would make it so much better. There we go. These ones are weird. If you just sit there and you hit certain edges, it'll do the entire thing. All right, there we go. So the entire truck was a nice blue before it got all rusty then. That's what it looks like. Make sure we hit all these edges. All right, those parts look fantastic. All right, time for our hood. We'll start with the edges and then we'll work to the center pretty much is how I think I'm doing these so far. It's working pretty good. Oh, it's so satisfying to blast away all this rust. There we go. Alright, and then we'll hit the hood front again just because I have missed the front before. All right, let me pull this thing off and set it down real quick. How does it look? All right, it looks good, actually. All right, we'll... Come on, let me set it down. There we go. Then we'll throw everything back in here. And then we'll transfer all this back, mainly just the, uh, the bed. We need to get the bed out here, and then we can transfer in the cab, I think. Let's get every last body piece. All right, check. Ooh, get, get over there. There we go. Uh, I wonder if we can do management. Dang it. Stay in. Uh-oh. There we go. It's worried there for a second. There you go. Stay in there. Uh, so there's no laptop in here. Let me pick up our gun. We don't want to leave our gun laying on the ground. Okay, there's no laptop in here, which is weird. So, 
We'll go to paint and we'll see if we can transfer it to paint. I don't think we can. Uh, when I say transfer, I'm talking the bed. We need to bring the bed to paint. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. That's all right, though. Let me get this. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what we should do here. Hmm. We will... We'll go back to the garage. We'll transfer some stuff around real quick. Okay, so I think I should be able to transfer that out of... I think... Yes, okay, so move this one to paint shop, part add. All right, there we go, move that out. Now let's remove the cab real quick. Real quick, as I'd say, it's not like a super difficult thing to do. Okay, unscrew cab. Exhaust catalyst. Anything else really to unscrew for cab? Radiator, grill. All right, I'm not really sure what we unscrew for caps, so we'll find out here. All right, see what it says when we try and do this. Management transfer. Not all bolts are uninstalled. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to take off the entire grill then, if that's the issue here. Not radiator, grill. There we go. Oh, dang it. Don't drop that. What's this one? Grill. So I think any of the plastic trim pieces we'll just buy new. Uh oh, nope, we want to leave that one in. Which one is here? Grill. Okay. There we go. And then we'll try and take off the bumper. See if we can, there we go. Get that bad boy out of here. Which one's this one? Oh, that's a cab, that's a cab screw, give me that. I probably should just go through and highlight all the cab screws. Bumper. No, stop. Oh, wish I could stop. Wish you could cancel it, but you can't cancel it. Uh, we'll get the cab. All right, bumper comes off now. There we go. Any more cab related screws? Maybe some in the back here. It's exhaust pipe. All right, let's check it now and see what it says. If we have to remove the engine and everything, oh, that's gonna suck. Mainly because I don't, I haven't done it yet, so I'm not quite sure how to do it. Oh, we can move it, I think. Hey, there we go. Oh, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, well there you go. That's what the uh, the truck looks like without anything on it. No cab, no body, no nothing. Uh, we'll take this guy with us. Actually, no, no, no. We don't need the, we don't need the bumpers. Those can stay. The grill can come with, though. Grill can come with. All right, you throw it down on the top there. All right, we'll go back to sandblasting. We'll sandblast the body, and then we'll go paint. We'll paint the entire thing. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let me see if I can grab this. Yes. All right. This one seems pretty easy. I guess we'll sandblast all the edges just in case these count as, uh, you know, part of it. Then we got the whole cab right here to do. Probably, you would probably mask off everything for this, but, you know, it's good. It's all good. Did that really just do everything for us? It did. All right. Thankfully, that's nice. Um... You go up there. Yes. And then where can we go next? All right. It looks like it just wants us to go to the backyard. We will go to our paint area. Okay. Whew, this is the exciting part. Now we get to paint this. And I think I'm doing orange. I think I'm doing orange. Orange is what I've been wanting for a while here. Let's change the music up. Nail, thank you. I'll roll with this for a little bit. That's fine with me. Okay, select our color here. 
Uh, we're going to do a metallic orange. Oh, we can do flakes. Okay, we're doing flake. Uh, is this all the color? This is all the colors we can do. All right, so I think this is as... Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is as orange as we're going to go then, right here. As, as orange as we're going to get it. Um, okay, let's select the color. Okay, then it shows up here what it's going to look like. Okay. Whew. Oh boy, that is a lot darker than I was thinking, honestly. Maybe we want to change it. Oh, it went it went with the super dark one, that's why. There we go. All right. And then we're going to change our spray pattern here. We're going to make it Okay, we should just should we just make it bigger? Let's just make it bigger. That'll be fine. I was gonna like flatten it or make it longer or anything, but nah. Okay, let's just go with that. Oh my gosh, the flake looks amazing. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh. That's the thing I was so excited about. I am so incredibly excited about for this game is the painting customization is going to be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I can't believe this flakes works. That is so cool. You can actually see like the metallic flakes in this paint here. All right, we got to make sure we get full body coverage. We can't have any spots missing. I know we did this back little bumper here. Oh, we ran out. This is probably going to be one of the most satisfying things about this game. It's going to be the amazing paint. All right, looks like that guy is done. Um, now we will do what we did earlier and we'll just set everything down. We'll set the hood on something a little bit like that right there. So I'm a little bit more upright. I wish we could have multiple of those. That would be really, really, really handy. Actually, you might be able to now that I think about it. Uh oh, nope. There we go. Let's get our trunk. In reality, you would have stands up for all of this. You wouldn't set this stuff on the ground, guys. You would not set this on the ground. Because you'd just be getting like spray on it, you'd be getting just like dust and debris, it would be really bad. There we go, and then I'll leave those two little spots there because they don't really, these guys don't matter too much. Oh, there we go. This is gonna look so good. I can't wait till we get the body in here. We can see what the body looks like with the with the flake put on it. Right, we gotta make sure we get every edge here. I am not going to miss a little spot. Paint 10 vehicle parts. Achievement, baby. There we go. Auction has been closed. Scrapyard has been opened. Oh, there was an auction? Oh, I missed it. What the heck? I did not know that was a thing. And we're out of paint. So yeah, this is gonna be our very first uh our, our very first truck. This is gonna be our it's gonna be our baby. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, okay, so I think if you paint these edges here, it'll paint like the entire thing. Kind of. Okay, I guess we just need to make, it gives it a little bit of an overall good paint coverage, but if we go through and do it, it does it better. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, see this one? Yes. Or is it the way that we're spraying? Is that is that have something to do with this? What the heck, hold on me. Maybe. We're gonna go back through and redo this entire door because I feel like we got we messed up on it. 
I think the pattern and the way we spray affects it. I think it might. See, because when you, when you spray straight on, I think it sprays on way better. Maybe that's why they actually let you change the spray nozzle. That would be really cool. Although I need definitely figure it out so I don't mess mess up these paint jobs. Okay, there we go. Can we rotate this at all? I don't think so. All right, well, this looks great to me, honestly. It does not look bad at all. All right, so we'll get all this stuff back to the shop. Let me see. Make sure we get all of our parts in there. Doors look pretty good. The the body though looks the best. All right, so we. Oh no. Oh crap. Okay, okay. This is not good. We need to change that guy. All right, we'll just we'll spray it while it's sitting there. Oh, what? We missed another spot. I'm seeing all these spots that we're, we've missed. Give me the give me the gun. Give me the gun. All right, there's a couple spots. And then up here, we missed a huge, huge chunk. Okay, so it does look like orientation definitely matters when you're spraying. Yep, it does. Cause look, we missed these under lips right here. That is crazy. Okay. Got that up there. All right, now let's head back to the shop. Oh, this is so cool though. This is gonna be a, a longer video here. Um, here, we'll just get all this stuff out of this really quick. I'm gonna set all this stuff up here. And then there's a door. Whoa, it's so cool. There's the other door. Honestly, you would not be throwing this stuff on the ground like we are, but I guess that's just what we're gonna do. All right, then we got Fender. We got our beef and hood here. Just chuck that one on the ground. There's our grill. The grill looks pretty pretty BA then our trunk here then we got a chance for the bed back on here and then we got to go paint the cab real quick there's that guy then I don't remember where these parts went so we're just gonna it's gonna throw them over there uh, this is not good why can I not uh Hmm. Oh, wow. And parts can't interact with other parts either. This might not be good. We might not be able to get that part. Dang it. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a glitch right there. Uh, let me see. Management transfer from paint shop. Get this bad boy on that guy. For this part to this slot. Oh, we gotta transfer it. Yes. There we go. It worked. Oh my gosh. Sweet. There we go. Oh, that looks awesome. All right. Now, okay. Now we need to go back over here and transfer that back over. All right. Now, Management transfer paint shop. Let me know. Wait, where's that? Sandblasting. There we go. Transfer the sandblast to the paint shop. Then we'll go over to the paint shop and we'll transfer it back. We'll paint it, then transfer it back over. I do love painting. Painting in this is really, really, really good. All right, we'll fill this guy back up. 
And yeah, you could definitely paint any color, uh, any spot that you want to do, actually. Whoa, did that just do the entire thing for us? I think it did. Nice, okay. Um, go back. Am I able to grab this thing at all? I'm not. All right, we'll have to buy whatever piece that is that we can't move. That sucks, because then we'll have to go paint it and everything. It's fine. It'll be okay. And then... Transfer back. This transfer system's a little weird, honestly. But, uh... I think we're figuring it out. There we go. Alright, before anything else, let's put the uh, bed back together. The bed and the body back together, actually. And then we'll go through and we'll see f how much... When we get all this put back together, we'll see how much we can put sell this whole thing for. So we bought it for 14000 and I think we put just a not, a... not a lot of money into it, but we put a decent amount of money into it. There we go. We can lock on how many... I think sandblasting and repainting was the main thing it really, really needed. Because I think it says it runs and drives good, and it's got an 8-inch lift on it. So we could put new uh, new tires on it, too. Okay, looks like those are on all the way. We'll go with the parts that we took off first. So this guy goes right here. It's uh, front light frame is what it's called front light frame so we'll have to go in and do that soon um where's our bumper at our grill give us the grill lock there we go yeah so if you're looking at a certain set of screws and you hit l you can lock on to those screws so you can only see those screws on the body which is really really helpful actually There we go. Headlights in. Where's that bumper? Oh, we'll, we'll do the bumper next. Or soon. Not next, but soon. Okay. Then we'll get... Unlock off those. And then lock on this one. Alright. Get our fenders in. Alright, fenders are good. Now let's just throw on the rest of the pieces now that we, now that we can. There we go. And now we can screw the rest in. Oh, I can't forget to do the hood also. Yeah, just a new coat of paint, honestly. Well, obviously sandblasting the rust off and a new coat of paint makes an incredible difference. Hey, and there's not that many screws we got to put in here, which is really nice. There we go. I'm excited to see if we can sell this thing for more than 14000 I hope we can. I'm probably I'm not gonna sell it obviously because I want to hold on to it for a minute. But hey, uh, is this the bumper? That's the only bumper screws we got on here. Is just two. There we go. Oh, it looks beautiful. So we can throw these on with no problem at all. No screws needed for lights. And then close. Oh, I can't close it until I, until I screw it back in. Very interesting uh, little ratchet setup there on how you open up the trunk. All right, close it. Set that bad boy on. Now the last screws for this one are here. And the opposite side here. Okay, other than that small little piece we're missing there, which I can probably... I'll just go buy it real quick. It should be fine. Okay, so part shop. Buy. So it's a body... Front lights frame is what it is. Okay. I don't know which truck we own. Honestly, I have no idea what truck we own. Hold on. Trucks. Management. Transfer. It's a hill encore. Okay. Uh, body. Light frame. 
uh, Hill Encore front light frame right. Okay, let's see if it got delivered right to us. Okay, we gotta wait for it to be delivered. All right, that's fine. That's okay. But guys, look at this. This is pretty exciting if you ask me. Uh, we got our first truck done. I guess there's, is there any way to really check the value of our truck here? Um, let's see, let's see. Marketing campaign. Oh, we could do a giveaway. Um, set the number of days. No, we're not gonna do a giveaway yet. Not yet. Management transfer. Man, I wish there was a way to look at the look at the truck. To like actually see. Actually see what it was worth. Let's see Z. So we got highlight tool. That doesn't. That's what we're holding. Yeah. See, that's yeah. Um. Hmm. Maybe actually. This is the guide on how to take things off here for like different lifts, lift type base. Okay. That's camera. That's what we were just doing. Dang it. So there's no way to actually take that and look at it. Maybe if we bring it out back uh, here, we got like less than like 15 minutes left on this delivery, which is like in reality, 15 seconds. It should pop up here in one of these and then we'll just take we'll slap it on real quick uh, i'll probably paint it once we're done later uh where's she at there it is just drops right in thank you i know the color doesn't match right now but it's all right it is all right um now we'll move this out we'll move this to management transfer we'll just move the entire hill encore to another Spot storage. That's not what we want. It'll be backyard. Yes. All right. There we go. All right, guys. So I figured it out. I just figured it out. It took me, took me, a, took me a second to figure it out. Oh, well, I probably shouldn't be out here. I should probably go back. Hold on, let me go back inside. So you take your truck and you sell it in the auctions, actually. So if we go here, travel to auction. I have our truck in the backyard, so what? Oh wow, we can only sell it for eleven thousand. Dang it! Okay, that's. Oh wait! Oh wait a second. We can. Oh, this is the build price. Oh. Okay, so we can set minimums. All right, so we'll set a twenty-five thousand minimum. All right. Ooh, actually here. Hmm. I'm going to wait, guys. I'm going to wait. We'll sell this in the next video. I'm going to try and do a little bit more to it before we sell it. Sell our first... Yeah, before we sell our first truck at the auction. I just want to wait and make sure it's really good because the condition on it still won, which kind of sucks. Um, but, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode so far. It's a little bit of a longer one um, just because these videos will be a little bit longer because I'm trying to figure some stuff out. Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll shorten them up here a little bit. Where did our... Where did our truck go? All right, that's fine. It we'll, we'll we'll find it wherever it went. I think it's back at auction still, which we have to go grab it. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this and you're enjoying Diesel Brothers so far, hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, just because uh, it helps me, lets me know like what you guys want to see. Um, I will be still be doing Car Mechanic Simulator content. I'm just trying to do some of this first, uh, just because like I haven't really done it at all, which is really really cool that we can that I can just like focus on this one. Um, but I do still have quite a few cars and trucks to do in car mechanic simulator. So I will do those soon. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button, leave a comment down below and I'll see all you guys in the next video.